In this video we shall discuss how to use join operator to obtain human readable data. In the first task we shall show human readable information about all books. It is the title of a book, author name, gender name. You may see that in some cases, for instance when a book has several genres, the information about that book and about the author of that book is duplicated. This is not quite convenient, but for now let's stay with this result and see how to achieve it. And later in our course we shall see how to achieve another, more convenient result. In MySQL we shall select book title, author name, genre name and we shall use the following tables for books, for authors, for genres and these two intermediate tables storing the connections between books and authors and books and genres. In MySQL, when joint tables have fields with the same name, we may use such a simplified syntax with a keyword using. In Microsoft SQL Server, we select the same data from the same tables, but unlike in MySQL, this DBMS does not support that using keyword. So we cannot use it here and we have to use classic join syntax with on and then the reference to the field of the first table and then the reference to the field of the second joining table. And Oracle supports that using keyword, so this solution for Oracle is exactly the same as the solution for MySQL. Now let's see step by step explanation on how join operator works. With the step 1 we are joining books table and that table storing the connection between books and authors. So the DBMS looks for identifier from this table and identifier from that table and then selects that information. And this is how we get our intermediate result number 1. You may see the author identifier here. The next join operator joins the temporary result number 1 and the information from authors table. So the DBMS looks for this number and looks for this number, these identifiers. And then the DBMS selects this information and puts it in the next temporary result. And here how we get that result with author name. Then we are joining our second temporary result and information from this table that stores the connection between books and genres. So the DBMS looks for identifiers from this table and for matching identifiers from this table. And you may see that two records are matching here. Then DBMS selects this information and produces the third temporary result. And with the final step we are joining the third temporary result with information from genders table. So the DBMS looks for these identifiers here and for these identifiers here. Then it selects this information and produces our final result. And of course the DBMS repeats all those steps for all books. So that's how we get our big table for all our books, for all our genders and for all our authors. In the next task we have to show human readable information about all subscriptions with subscribers names and books titles. This is how the expected result may look like. You may see books titles here and subscribers names here. To achieve that result in MySQL we have to name all our fields and select that information from books table, from subscriptions table and from subscribers table, joining those tables on matching identifiers. In Microsoft SQL Server the solution is exactly the same. We are selecting our fields and joining those the same tables. We remember that Microsoft SQL Server does not support that using keyword, but we also cannot use that keyword neither in MySQL nor in Oracle, because these fields have different names, so we have to use on syntax. And the solution for Oracle is exactly the same. The only difference is that symbol we use to wrap the identifiers of our structures.